What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lotus Asakura, the one who never knows best, bringing you some more Dragon Ball Fighters matches and continuing on with commentary coverage of my NLBC run that took place a couple of weeks ago that I never got around to uploading. Now, this video is being recorded right after I just played some matches with Lab Code Android 21, and I don't know if I'm uploading this video first or that one, but either way, you guys are getting a double upload tonight on top of the fact that I'm going to be streaming tonight. So be sure to tune in to twitch.tv slash Lotus Asakura. Link is always in the description down below after you watch this video. I just might be live. So go ahead and be sure to check that out. Um, but yeah, man, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. She's so sick. She's a lot of fun. I can't wait to actually learn how to play her because right now I don't know what I'm doing. But as you can see, uh, in our last video, we lost in our very first match to a player named Mr. Anderson, a really powerful cooler player who gave me gave me the hands. Not gonna lie, him and his Janemba, uh, they, they 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 really they really beat me up. But we won our first match in a loser's bracket, and we proceeded on against Dio, who is a Videl player that we fought before that has some of the best Videl combos that I've actually seen. Obviously, he plays it with Kid Buu and UI Goku, which actually seems like it's really powerful for Videl for reasons just like that. That mix-up right there, now even though I blocked that, I'm not sure if that was because I just guessed right, or if I just got crossing protection because he did the mix-up a little off with his timing, but... And then obviously UI Goku, I mean, who doesn't like a beam assist or a DP says, and oh, you're gonna die for that, I hate when people jump a track and rush me like that, but anyway, neither here nor there. Still playing the team of Vegeta, 21, and Trunks, and as you can see, 21 at mid and Trunks at anchor. I've explained this in multiple videos now. I don't, I'm not going to explain it, I don't think, anymore after this, but just because I like having Trunks come in with Meteor, and it's like I can I can play him as anchor or mid um, if I just put him anchor because I can bring him in on my own terms whenever I'm ready. Long story short. That being said, match is pretty even right now. We catch him with a Shining Slash, and I am going to swap into Android 21 for the level 3 to get the steals up and the mix here. Also, it's going to do a decent chunk of damage because of this the scaling from the Shining Slash. It's not too much, but it's, it's, a, it's a decent little amount. Uh, that being said, he does block the cross up, and now we're going back to some neutral, and I lose it because I get caught by the beam, and then I get caught again, uh, but he doesn't commit. And we are able to 2H that bad vanish, and that should be the end of Kid Boo. Easy damage here, we got an assist, we extend that, boom, boom, into a dive, level 1, level 1, not the most optimal combo, but it was enough to get the kill, spend all 3 bars, down goes Kibu, and we take the lead here in game number 1 over Dio, also let me find my water bottle. As I'm doing a lot of talking, recording, your boys working overtime these days, and I gotta play a lot of catch up. I'm saying I, I wanted to do a lot a bunch of double uploads since I've been back and these last couple of days I haven't been able to do that tonight you're getting a double upload I'm gonna try to do as many as I can before the month is over but obviously I took that vacation and so I haven't uh, streamed or uploaded as much as I as I normally would and uh, obviously it's taking its toll on on the old analytics um but I, I guess I can't really complain you know what I'm saying? Because for one, you guys show me so much love and support, especially on the Zeno video that came out the other day. You guys got that video. It's like nearly 5,000 likes last I saw. I don't know why we can't do that on every video. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, I'm, I, 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 look, look, look. I ain't asking for a lot. You know what I'm saying? We get, we get like, we getting roughly 20k views per video. I should be able to get 2,000 likes a video. So yeah, go ahead. Let, let, let me see two bands on the video for the one time I really appreciate. It don't cost you nothing. It's free. The like button is free. I don't know how many times I gotta tell you. you know what I'm saying you already signed in. Just click it. It take you less than two seconds. Whoops. <laughs> but anywho, y'all ain't see that. Um, I mean, not that I'm embarrassed about the wallpaper. My wallpaper gets shown all the time when I'm streaming, which you would know if you tune into the streams. But uh, I, I <laughs> my dumbass just clicked off the video. I don't care that my wallpaper got shown. Yeah, like I said, if you tune into the streams, I I like fully cool. Your hot girl looking kind of flying. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying. Regardless, you can see here in game number one against Dio, we are taking things pretty handedly. Um, it's very one-sided in our favor. We haven't taken pretty much any damage since we got that first kill on Kid Buu. And as soon as I open my big fat mouth, I curse myself in the past. And we get hit by a pretty big hit uh, from UI Goku. And we're going to lose a lot of health here. That was a big damage combo. Big damage combo. Can y'all believe they really added limit break into this game? I said... Uh, in my video I just recorded while I was playing Lab Coat that my least favorite change they ever made to this game was the addition of CSS. I hate CSS with all my heart. I just think they're, they're so fucking lame. But another change that I really dislike in this game is Limit Break because I don't, I just, making the game easier for people to come back after losing, it's like we already had sparking. And it's not like making comebacks in this game was particularly difficult. I mean, I was get shot by the way. It wasn't the easiest thing in the world, but like, it was something I was doing pretty much on a regular basis. Like I was damn near doing it almost every video <laughs> before Limit Break was a thing. Like in my rank videos, I did it all the time with Trunks and Trunks sucks. So like I, I don't know, man. But it is what it is. I whenever I uh, say something I don't like about the game, I always I'm always like I'm always like eh, about it. ooh loop loops. You see the loops? I love that combo. Bow 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 bow. 
damn, I was playing much better in the loser's bracket than I did in my first match against Mr. Anderson. Maybe I just felt a bit more warmed up, because I don't always warm up before these tournaments, even though I should. Same thing goes for my ranked matches. I don't usually, I almost never warm up before I play my ranked matches. I just kind of hop into it. Um, but, uh, damn, what was I saying? Ah, damn. I, I, I made too many tangents at once and I lost my train of thought. Can't bring that one back around, but it is what it is. If I remember in editing, maybe I'll throw up a little annotation on screen or something. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> down goes Videl, Dragon Rush, into the level 1. And it's looking like we're going to take things pretty easily over Dio. I think Dio's a pretty strong player. Um, and when I fought him for the very first time, I was actually really impressed by his Videl. But his Videl uh, was not very much of a factor uh, in this match. Now, was she? Finds the hit with the Kid Boo, though. And also, by the way, Kid Boo is a character that... Oh, he went for the rejump, but he dropped it. Hmm. And that is something to note about Dio as a player. He is one of those players that will go for those optimal combos and will go for the style points when he can. But sometimes it will cost him, you know? Especially when you're when you're online, going for some of those rejumps and everything like that. It's a, it's a lot more difficult. Um, and obviously, it's already execution heavy uh, in the first place. But um, yeah, I feel like I was on the cusp of remembering what it was I was saying, and I can't remember. Damn it. Okay, whatever. But um, ooh, 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 ooh. you see what you see what I'm talking see what I'm talking about? He, he going for the fancy stuff. He going for the fancy stuff, and he dropped it. Uh, he probably do a lot better than uh, better against me. Uh, or a lot better in general if he didn't go for that stuff, but I commend him and I respect him for it because, uh, you know, obviously if you don't practice going for things like that in actual matches, we'll never be able to do it, right? Um, you know, me personally, like, I go for some of the more optimal stuff or some of the fancier stuff that I know how to do, but not in every situation, right? Like, I go for rejumps and I go for more optimal combos, or at least the ones that I'm capable of doing, the most optimal versions of combos that I know. Uh, but in, like, live or die situa situations or situations where the combo is going to kill, even without the fancy stuff, I usually just keep it simple because... One win, right? Key blast, rocket kick. Oh, I got clicks. It's like the six sound. Come on, just, keep, just shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Oos, and he tried to 2H there, I think, but uh, actually didn't come out in time. And now he's down to just his solo UI Goku, but I mean, UI Goku is UI Goku, so not gonna count him out. Man, I love playing neutral base Vegeta, by the way. I just wish I was better at actually utilizing uh, all his different key blasts. Ooh, the 5M punish couldn't quite get to the corner though. I wanted the 5H loops, but we find the hit with the falling JM again to the trunks. But this time I think I actually dropped that combo. Yeah, uh, you, you might have been able to tell a little bit there. There's a slight bit of lag that kicked in. Uh, I wasn't able to complete that combo, but it's fine. Vanish on a super dash, take my turn because it is my frame advantage there. Rocket kick into the tag into trunks, and that's going to be us taking things 2-0 over Dio. Like I said, formidable player for sure. Definitely got the style points when it comes to the combos. Doesn't always able to isn't always able to follow through with them, but when he does pull them off, it looks pretty sick. But um yeah like I said I was he was, I was really impressed with this play the first time we ever played. Uh his Videl in particular. But that being said we move onward into the losers bracket. I believe that's winners round or losers round two we just won so now we move on to losers round three and I'll be right back with those games. And our next opponent was El Genius, running a team of base Vegeta, Vegito, and Broly. So I figured I had my work cut out for me, and you know, he's a yellow square as well, but like I, I try to remind you guys all the time that square color doesn't mean nearly as much as some as you think it does, and I mean, I don't put a lot of stock or a lot of weight into it, and I try my best not to let square color uh, allow me to underestimate my opponent. And obviously he's playing a very top tier team. Well, I don't know how powerful this team is necessarily itself. It's three characters who are all arguably the best in the game, right? I don't think Vegeta's the best in the game. I think Vegito, uh, Z Broly are definitely a better character than he is. Andrew 21 is the best according to some people. And now Lab Coat 21 is a thing, so she might be the best. Um, so I, I think there's a lot of contenders who are just just definitely better than Vegeta, but I do think Vegeta is very powerful. Um, I don't, I don't want to ever just try to sound like I'm downplaying the character. But that's not the here you nor know, there. Point is, uh, Vegeta, Vegito, Z Broly, strong team, strong team. Like e even if it's not the most, even if it's not the best synergy wise, which it, it works perfectly fine because all their assists are like pretty easy to use for any for any character. Um, it's it's definitely a team that'll work. That being said, uh, we we found a couple of hits here, not uh, capitalizing them as best as we should, but we do capitalize on that one relatively well. We built up three bars, but I'm not to spend it. He spent a sparking right away. It doesn't matter. Five and hold that. 
I uh, did not go for the rejump there. Like I said, don't always go for the rejumps in situations where I should. That's a situation where I should have tried to probably went for it, um, but it's fine though, because we take him back mid screen, get the Dragon Rush off of the, uh, the Vegeta assist, and into the level three. And this is a guess for character situation where if he gets hit, he dies. I go for the same side low, he reflects, and I get hit by a 2M because it's Vegito. He plays Vegito on Brawl. You think this nigga was gonna block on Wake Up? Of course he wasn't. Of course he wasn't. Uses the special attack to get Vegeta in, command grab into the level 3, and yeah. Now I gotta guess, or spend my sparking. Personally, I opt to block and spend my sparking. <laughs> Find him blocking. Ooh, what a 2 H. I can't believe you matched 2 h after blocking the assist. Although I should be able to believe it because people do it all the time. It's me, I'm people. I'm definitely people. Although, usually not in a situation like that. That's not a scenario where I would have 2 h that was a good 2-H though. Nice punish on the raw tag. That was great patience. Um, Y'all know my bad habit if you watch me enough is that I'll block an assist and my opponent will go for a cross-up. And like I'll react to the cross-up, but I'll react by trying to 2-H it because usually you can't as long as you're not jailed by an assist. But even when I get jailed by assist, I still do it because I'm an idiot. That being said though, we find the EX Rocket Kick into the loops. Knee drop. Level 1. Gonna get Vegeta out of here because his health is really low. Bring in Android 21 and then obviously Trunks for the level 3 to finish things off because 21's health is relatively low as well. We do have steals up with 21 but I don't want to risk losing that character right now so we'll bring in Trunks. Meaty changed the future for the plus frames. Got him respecting our, our offense. He does eventually try to match and get caught by the Key Blast but it's fine. He does get Broly out. There's a decent chunk of blue out there. I'm not really worried about it. Gets me back to the corner with Trunks. Um, <laughs> but I micro walk out with the wake up 5M and down goes Vegeta. Nice, nice. <clears throat> now he's down to just his Vegito, or I'm sorry, his base Vegeta and his Z Broly, but these are obviously two very, very powerful characters who are not to be underestimated, especially that one in particular. Z Broly. Some nice normals you got there, Broly. Uh, some, some big boy buttons you got there. I, I almost died for that. Honestly, he should have gone for the level 1 anyway, because it damn near, it might have killed. It's fucking Broly, his damage is ridiculous. I remember people trying to say this character doesn't do damage. Then then they found better combos. And then they added Limit Break. And now this character does entirely too much damage. It seems like part, it seems like the nature of the game at this point, though. It's just like, if your character, like, it, I feel like damage is getting higher in this game. In some ways, but somehow the game is still slow. Right, they, they've introduced characters like uh, Gogeta, who's able to do a ton of damage off of so many different things. Z Broly does a ton of damage, Vegeta does a ton of damage, uh, Blue Gogeta does a ton of damage, Lab Cup 21 does a ton of damage. Obviously more and more optimal combos, or combos are getting more and more optimal and more combos are being found for characters. But then there's other things that have happened like, you know, the removal of double supers, and um, just, uh, what else? Uh, other, other chains have been made that have slowed the game down. Uh, I can't think of them off the top of my head, but, you know, Dragon Ball is one of those games where one of the like the memes and one of the ongoing jokes about our game is that it takes forever. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's true. Ooh, am I dead here? Did I choke? That should be death, right? Into the level three. I survived. I actually couldn't remember how this match played out. I don't remember what happens here. Oh, I'm so petty. I am so petty. Wow. Wow! The destructive finish is so pretty though. This is one of my favorite destructive finishes in the game. This one in Android 21 is probably my favorite. Wow! I thought I was the one who choked, but it was him. How you roll with them? When you know I'm him, we got it on remote control. Also, did y'all listen to Donda 2? Did y'all catch that stream, that, that performance? Because I actually did not. Um, I'm actually a huge Kanye West fan, but he's made it, what, a 2 H. He's made it very difficult to be a Kanye West fan these last couple of years, huh? It, uh, I've always believed Kanye is one of the biggest geniuses uh, in, in the music and fashion industry. I've always believed in his uh, his capabilities and, and considered him, like, one of the most uh, influential and just... You know what I'm saying? Like, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm a Kanye West fan, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I believe most of what he says. Not everything. I don't agree with everything, but... um. Uh, it was, it's, it's, it's been rough being a Kanye fan these last few years. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm not gonna lie. The, the album still slept though. I still don't think he's missed with a single album. I know people didn't care for Jesus is King that much, and some people didn't like Donda that much. I think they're both great in their own aspect and in their own right. Um, but uh, oh, I dropped the rejump. But uh, yeah, I haven't actually heard any of the stuff from Donda 2, although I did hear X is on Donda 2, so I definitely want to hear whatever track that is because as a lot of y'all probably know, I'm like, I was a huge X fan. I still am. He's still number one on my Spotify every year. Long live job. 
Uh, but that being said, back to the match. We get the sliding knockdown on the Vegito, and again, he pops a spark and we go for the 5M, but this time he actually vanishes, and I thought we had the frame advantage there, but I guess I was wrong, because he matched 5L and we got hit. Vegito out here with those kicks, and um, yeah, he's got a lot of bar here, so he should spend it. He's got five bars. We could potentially die. I would do level one into Broly level one, uh, into Vegeta level three. Mm -hmm. And it actually wasn't enough to kill. Close, but not quite. Um, I don't remember if I actually spend my sparking here or not. I block, spark. I should have just called the assistant tagged out right away, but we find the 6M, and then I, oh, I'm an idiot. I'm trash. That worked out a lot better than it should have. Command grab into the level one, bring in trunks. There we go, trunks for the full health. And we've got uh, close to two bars, so this is a good situation to bring him in anyway. And honestly, I feel like this team does decently well against Z Broly, which is something you don't usually hear me say. Uh, trunks doesn't struggle against Broly until Broly gets the barrier up, I would say. <clears throat> once, Broly, once Broly has the barrier up, then it's like, what the fuck do I do? Um, but Vegeta and 21, it's for me, their neutrals a lot less committal and a lot easier to combat Z Broly with. Uh, but with Trunks just having the, the most health, it just made the most sense to bring him in. That being said, though, ooh, that was a bad banish. <clears throat> he brought in Vegeta right away anyway, so it uh, wasn't that big of a deal. Yoink, command grab. Doesn't spend any bar. JS for the Oki and the Broly assist. I'm flipping out of there. And we get the confirm. Nice air-to-air. -air. Well, not necessarily air-to-air, -air, but the, the, the nice jump confirm in order to, to combo off the, the 21 assist. Bring in the Vegeta. Maybe not the best idea, but I did it anyway. And that's what I'm talking about. I blocked the assist and I still went for the 2H. Fortunately, I actually did it in a scenario where it worked out. But that's what I'm talking about. I oftentimes get the read or I react to my opponent doing a cross-up and I do 2H, which you can 2H cross up, but you usually shouldn't be trying to when you block an assist. That being said, speaking of 2H, it's like you really shouldn't be doing it. But he's down to just his anchor Broly. Well, that being said, anchor Broly is probably the best anchor character in the game. I probably would still stand by that. It's either him or Vegito, I am though. 20, uh, well, 21's up there too. It's 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 among those three. It's among those three. I don't I don't know who in particular I would say, but uh, obviously I'm biased. I love 21 a lot. I I I, I try my I really I really try my hardest not to downplay the characters that I play. The only character that you could ever say that I potentially am downplaying is Trunks, but I genuinely do think Trunks sucks. Uh, in this current version of the game, especially compared to the rest of the cast, who gets all so many shiny new toys, and he just he just keeps getting power crept more and more. But like, I I I, I swear I be talking about how powerful and top tier twenty one of Vegeta are, but I guess some people don't think that. I think that <clears throat> anyway though, this is gonna take pretty much one more hit to knock out the Broly. We just need a key blast at this point. Any hit'll do it. A six M, and there it is. Get bonked on your dome top, your dome top, your dome piece, your head top. And that's gonna be us taking things over what was his name i don't remember his name well <laughs> that'll do it boys and girls we continue on in the losers bracket of nlbc like i said double upload today by the time you're seeing this video i might be live over on twitch.tv slash little social core so the link will be in the description down below where you guys can go and check, go ahead and check it out also be sure to keep tuning in because i've also been doing my playthrough of the world ends with you which is a game that i'm enjoying a lot right now final remix by the way on switch that being said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hit this with a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already, so you can stay tuned for all those content that I bring you. With all that being said, let's branch off today, and remember, nothing can happen to you from the bad. Later. <laughs>